Uh, I am Monty, I'm from Millard West, and this is the... Thank you. <laughs> and this is the Ballad of Man vs. Food Guy. We gather here today to celebrate the life and times of a true hero, one that deserves to walk through the Greek pantheon and feast in the halls of Valhalla on a 35-pound boar steak, in hot sauce, and chili that could tempt Loki. Today, we are here for the Man vs. Food Guy. In life, he could sling sausages like six-shooters, his plate was a Spartan shield, his condiments were grenades, a fork in his hand was as powerful as Poseidon's trident, and his knife was literally a knife. <laughs> but as the seasons and seasonings wore on, the heat from those hot wings began to make his face look like a melting mozzarella ball. In his final days, he was found on the kitchen floor, clutching a can of cheese whiz into the crook of his arm, a little trickle of canned cheese licking from the corner of his mouth. Both his belt and his veins had burst. In the autopsy, they found a single slice of tomato and said, at least he tried. <laughs> and the world yelled out, why couldn't he have been challenged with a light salad? <laughs> we are here today to bury the man versus food guy in a burrito large enough to be a soldier's sleeping bag. The beef and cheese filled casket will be carried to his final resting place with a slice of pizza draped across the top. And he will be lowered into the final resting bowl using ropes made from braided Twinkies. He, we will then take turns shoveling piles of salt, pepper, sugar, and ground up Oreos into his grave. It will be a tasteful burial. <laughs> we have all bo brought bottles of hot sauce to leave on his grave because it is too late for any leafy greens. Let us all join in prayer that his ghost is not forced to haunt all the victory walls he could never get on in life. Amen. Rumors are tossed out between chefs attempting to flip a 27 ham pound hamburger that you sold your soul to stomach an ocean of grease that could put the Pacific in its place. But we know your journey was more spiritual than that. Much like Moses, you split your sea, but you split yours into three separate meals. And maybe a few snacks when the camera started rolling. But then the great flood was upon you and suddenly you're just a man whose salvation turned into a deep fried, bona fide sex tablet servings on a stick hellscape. Hear my whisper, man versus food guy. Your efforts won't only be clogged in your veins. Your assaults on mankind's true Frankenstein's monsters will not be forgotten. You will receive your just desserts. The rest of that tomato they found in your autopsy.